guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cara. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. And I have started doing book wrap-ups this year instead of doing book reviews. And I have three books to show you today, which will be books five, six, seven of my wrap-up so far. And I love these three books, which I'm going to show you. But without further ado, let's get right into it. So the fifth book I've read this year so far is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher and this is the movie cover, not movie, this is a TV show cover version and I actually wrote some little points on a sticky note so I didn't forget what I wanted to say. So I really, really enjoyed this book. I liked seeing the difference between this to the TV show and how the characters were portrayed a lot differently. So my first point is there's no look at her parents like the show. So in the show there is a complete look of how the parents are going, how their business is suffering because of Hannah's suicide, how like everything has changed for them. But in this you only hear about the parents once and there's no scene at the end where the parents finally get the tapes that doesn't happen which I know they have to do that in a TV show they have to exaggerate that they have to explore everyone's point of view but in this that was just one thing I was disappointed that you didn't get to see more of the parents um in this which was so surprising so I read this quite quickly and I was really surprised this was spread over one night so in this whole book Clay read Clay listened to all the tapes in one night whereas in the show it's spread over a couple of weeks and i thought that was quite odd that they decided to go to a couple of weeks thing in the show because clay found out all the things within one night and then passed it on and obviously like there's so much they added into the show just for the drama and for the suspense and all that but i just found it really super interesting that this only went over one night um, tony had a way less smaller part in this in the show he was quite a kind of scary character to be honest and he was all over clay but in this he was just kind of the friend who helped him um listen to the tapes and like at the very end why he was why clay was on the tapes and i really liked how hannah was described through this and how her humor still came out even though she wasn't really in it and i really liked how um how all hannah's sections you can't really probably see it are in italics so wherever hannah was talking you know it was Hannah if it was in italics or if it was Clay thinking or someone else talking it wasn't in italics but I really enjoyed this I'm glad I read it now um, I did want to read it before I watched the show but I'm really glad I read it really glad I read it now so I can be able to compare what I have seen and what I have now read so the next book I've read which is one I was so excited for and I'm so late to the bandwagon is Wild Like Me by Louise Pentland and I got this for Christmas from Alex as well as this one so they were a Christmas read but I loved this so much. I'm going to get my little thicky notes out and you're wondering why I do this just so I don't forget some points that I think as soon as I finish the book what I thought because like, obviously I can give you an overall but these give you just some little like pointers that I think of as soon as I finish. There was one thing in this book I couldn't really, it really frustrated me is I could not get the image of Louise and Darcy out of my head as Robin and Lila. And I know this book is a fiction book, but there were so many similar similarities of Louise and um, Robin in this book that it, I just, all I could do was picture her, Robin as Louise and that was so hard but towards the end like that image kind of faded but at the start it's all I could think of and hopefully with the second book it will kind of get my mind there that way but I think it's just going to happen when a YouTuber writes a book that's just their image that they have. I actually really enjoyed Louise's, Louise's writing. I didn't think I would. At times I felt it was a bit vloggish. Um, I, I absolutely love Louise but yeah I just feel at times I felt like I was kind of reading someone's blog towards the start more i feel like her, she kind of got into a groove as the book went on but in the start i felt like i was just kind of reading someone's blog um spoiler fuck theo what an absolute dog um i did not expect the character to turn out like that um he was such a fun loving character at the start and then he turned into a complete psycho moron at the end so i'm really excited to see if he turns up in the second book because i know she's writing a second book which will be so exciting so that is well like me by louise pentland aka sprinkler Little. and the last book that i have read which is book number seven is carabelle and oh my god i am very late these books i am i always late to books the only books i have ever like up to date with are ones that I've read a series and the book is next book is coming out but 
Oh my god, I loved this so much. I did not expect Love for Caraval as much as I did, but oh my god, it was so good. So this is the story of Scarlet and Tella and throughout her life Scarlet has dreamed of going to see Caraval, which is like a magical kind of adventure performance. And she's write, written letters to Legend, who is like the magic kind of person and she finally gets a reply back and she goes to the island and just her sister gets kidnapped which is Tella and it's just oh the story is just so much fun and there's I love the mist I love like the mystery kind of mixing with romance like you get the magic and you also get a little bit of romance which I loved and I really didn't expect to love the character Scarlet as much as I did. I thought at the start, I was like, I wasn't really sure where it was going. I felt like she was quite annoying, but I loved Scarlet at the end and just everything that was happening to her, I felt so sorry for her. And the plot twist with Julian, I kind of expected that towards probably three, one quarter of the way through. I was like, hmm, I kind of sense something's going on with Julian, but I'm glad I picked that up. Um, I did not realize there was going to be a second one of this, which I am so excited for. Comes out in May, and I I flew for this book. That normally when I read books, I buy more when I'm either halfway through. But I read this so quickly that my books aren't going to come in time. So I just go to the library and borrow books, like some new ones. But oh my god, why did I not read this sooner? Mm, they are books five, six, and seven that I'm adding to my wrap up, and I'm actually really liking doing wrap ups because it's. It's easy for me to see how many books I've read in a year, which I really like. And I'm hoping to read 50 books this year. That is my goal. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss an upload on a Tuesday and a Thursday. And I'll see you all next week. Bye!